Peekaboo, you're not hallucinating, these are indeed the colossal stone heads of Easter Island. Now let's dive into the world of these monolithic marvels. Known as the Moai, these statues are not just huge, they're gargantuan. Imagine a stone giant towering over you, stretching as tall as a four-story building. That's a Moai for you. But the true mystery lies in their construction and transportation. With no advanced tools or machinery, how did the ancient Rapa Nui people do it? It's a question that continues to baffle experts today. But let's not lose sight of the humor in all this. These stone-faced models are always ready for a photo op. Rain or shine, day or night, they're striking a pose and serving looks. They're the world's first supermodels, really. And they say you can't get blood from a stone, but you can certainly get a selfie. Next up, we're heading to the Acropolis in Athens, where ancient Greeks surely knew how to throw a party. Now imagine this. Perched high above the city, the Acropolis was the ultimate social hotspot back in the day. It was more than just a collection of magnificent structures like the Parthenon. It was the heart of Athens, pulsating with life, culture, and yes, some pretty epic parties. Think of the Parthenon as the VIP section, where the elite of ancient Athens would gather, discussing philosophy and politics over a glass of wine. And let's not forget Dionysus, the god of wine and merry chaos. His theater sat right at the foot of the Acropolis, setting the stage for festive celebrations that would make even the modern partygoers blush. So, the next time you think of ancient Greece, don't just picture stoic philosophers and epic heroes. Remember, they also knew how to let their hair down and have a good time. Who knew ancient Athens was so hip and happening? Ever been part of a pyramid scheme? Well, the folks at Teotihuacan in Mexico sure were. Now don't get your ponchos in a twist. We're not talking about the shady, get-rich-quick kind of pyramid scheme. We're talking about a real, literal, gigantic pyramid scheme that actually worked. Welcome to Teotihuacan, home to the colossal Pyramid of the Sun. This architectural marvel towers at a staggering 216 feet, making it the third largest pyramid in the world. Not too shabby, right? But here's the kicker. We don't even know who built it. It's like a monumental mystery wrapped in an enigma, encased in stone. Imagine the level of organization, the sheer manpower needed to build such a structure. It's like the ultimate team-building exercise, except the result isn't just a trust fall, but a towering testament to human ingenuity. Now that's one pyramid scheme we can all appreciate. From pyramid schemes to hide-and-seek champions, we're now at Machu Picchu. Nestled high in the Andean mountains of Peru, this ancient city was so well hidden it remained undiscovered for centuries. Talk about a winning spot in the world's longest game of hide-and-seek. Now Machu Picchu isn't just about its location. This Incan masterpiece is shrouded in mystery. Was it a royal retreat? A sacred religious site? Or perhaps the most committed attempt at avoiding door-to-door -door salesmen in history? We may never know. Despite the unanswered questions, one thing is for sure. The Incas knew how to build with style. The intricate stonework, terraced fields, and panoramic views are nothing short of breathtaking. And let's not forget the llamas, the true locals, casually photobombing your shots with their fabulous hairdos. I guess the Incas really didn't want any uninvited guests. Ever heard of a church come mosque come museum? Enter the Hagia Sophia. This architectural marvel in Istanbul has seen more makeovers than a Hollywood starlet. Originally built as a church around 1500 years ago, it flaunted an awe-inspiring dome that had folks questioning the laws of gravity. But here's the twist. It wasn't content with just being a church. After a few centuries, it decided to convert to a mosque. Minarets were added, mosaics were plastered over, and voila, the Hagia Sophia was sporting a new look. But the transformations didn't stop there. Fast forward to the 20th century and our versatile wonder decided it was time for another change. This time it took on the role of a museum, showcasing its layered history to the world. From church to mosque to museum, the Hagia Sophia is the ultimate symbol of transformation talk about having an identity crisis. Before we dive into the top five, remember to hit that subscribe button if you're enjoying our little world tour. Have you been to any of these places? Let us know in the comments below. And now, back to our regularly scheduled programming. Some people express their love with a letter, others with a Taj Mahal. Now that's what we call a grand romantic gesture. Nestled along the banks of the Yamuna River in India, the Taj Mahal is the embodiment of an emperor's undying love for his queen. Constructed by Emperor Shah Jahan in the 17th century as a mausoleum for his beloved wife Mumtaz Mahal, the Taj Mahal stands as an eternal testament to their love story. Imagine this. 
You're so in love you spend 22 years and employ around 20,000 workers to construct a marble masterpiece in memory of your beloved. Now that's commitment. With its towering minarets, symmetrical design and intricate inlays, the Taj Mahal is a marvel of Mughal architecture. It's like a love letter but instead of words it's written in marble, precious stones and painstaking craftsmanship. Who knew love could be so… architecturally impressive? From love letters to divine selfies, we're now at Angkor Wat. This sprawling Cambodian masterpiece is more than just an architectural marvel. It's a snapshot of history, a testament to human ingenuity, and the world's largest religious selfie spot. Yes, you heard it right. Hidden within the lush jungles of Siem Reap, Angkor Wat stands as the planet's most expansive religious monument. This grand temple complex with its intricate carvings and towering spires has captivated visitors for centuries. But today, it's not just the history buffs who are drawn here. In an era where capturing the moment has become as vital as living it, Angkor Wat's allure has transcended the historical and entered the realm of the viral. Tourists flock from around the globe, smartphones in hand, eager to snap that perfect divine selfie amid the age-old stones. So if you're planning a trip to Cambodia, remember to pack your best smile. Because no trip to Cambodia is complete without a divine selfie at Angkor Wat. For our third spot, we're checking out the original wonder triplets, the Pyramids of Giza. Now these aren't your regular pyramids you'd make at the beach, oh no. These colossal structures are the last standing members of the seven wonders of the ancient world. And boy do they stand tall and majestic. Made from millions of limestone blocks, each weighing more than two tons, these pyramids are a testament to the architectural genius of the ancient Egyptians. And they didn't just stop at one, they made three. Talk about setting the bar high. The largest of the triplets, the Great Pyramid, was the tallest man-made structure for over 3,800 years. That's longer than your favorite TV show will ever last. And let's not forget the iconic sphinx guarding these wonder triplets like the world's most formidable bouncer. Who knew the ancient Egyptians were so ahead of the trend with their triplet design? Our runner-up is so big you can see it from space. It's the Great Wall of China. This colossal structure snaking its way across mountain ranges, deserts, and grasslands is often referred to as the dragon's backbone. And it's not hard to see why. Much like a dragon, it's long, winding, and incredibly impressive. At a stunning 13,700 miles, it's no surprise the Great Wall has become synonymous with the very idea of perseverance and endurance. Now. If you fancy a stroll along the entirety of this architectural marvel, you're looking at a whopping 18 months of continuous walking. That's right, it'd take you longer than the time it takes to binge watch every episode of your favorite long-running TV show. So if you're planning to tackle this dragon's backbone, remember, it's not a sprint, it's a marathon. A very, very long marathon. Better pack some sturdy shoes for that walk. And finally, the moment you've all been waiting for, our number one man-made wonder, Petra. Tucked away in the southern reaches of Jordan, Petra, also known as the Rose City, isn't just a city, it's a masterpiece. A city literally carved into the face of rose-colored rock cliffs. It's like the ancients decided to play a grand game of hide-and-seek with architecture. And boy, did they excel at it. Petra's unique architecture is not just awe-inspiring, it's also been a head-turner for the silver screen. With its towering monuments and intricate facades, it's no wonder filmmakers often choose it as a backdrop for their cinematic adventures. Yes, this city's got more credits to its name than some Hollywood A-listers. Talk about a rock star. And there you have it, folks. Petra, the rose-colored superstar of man-made wonders.